So, Sharon, I've got a scenario that I want to share with you, and hopefully um, some, this will help some people. A little while ago, actually, on our YouTube videos, I had a question about how people can deal with um, making offers that are not subject to the sale of their house. Because if you can imagine, if you're interested in buying another house, but you've got a house to sell, making an offer subject to the sale of your home is probably not the most attractive option, especially if it's a house that a number of people want. You'll be very uncompetitive if your offer is subject to. So Sharon, as a mortgage expert, tell us about an option, an option, like another option. And we'll use an example, for instance, of one that we're dealing with right now. Okay. I have a, a retired couple. They own a house that's worth about $500,000. Mm -hmm. They have no mortgage on it. Okay. And they want to buy a $200,000 condo. Right. And again, there's a couple of other people that want to buy this condo. So for them to make it subject to the sale of their house isn't going to work right now. So right. what would you prescribe? I'm a big fan of arranging a line of credit secured by the new condo. Okay. Um, we've just had some new rules that only allow us to mortgage up to 65% of the value of the condo, which means we could we'll lend up to 65% of the 200000 Okay. Secured against the home. Um, it's called a secured line of credit. And uh, as long as the retired couple qualify for that financing, yeah. they can go into um, the offer. Um, so as, as long as they can support the payments, like that line of credit payment, right? Right. Okay. So I guess the whole idea is the intent is not for these people ever to own two properties. Right. But the idea is in order for them to commit and make an offer that's not subject to, they just need to know that it is possible. Again, for some reason or other, their house can't sell, yeah. that they can actually get that money and close on the second uh, second property. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want any anxiety. So. Yeah. So come to a mortgage broker. Make sure they qualify for that size of a loan. Yeah. Based on their income, and then when their property sells, you take the money and you pay off the line of credit. The line of credit is completely flexible. They can pay off as much um, at any time or at any frequency that they wish. Actually, I like what you just said. You said it removes the anxiety. Yeah. Right. So so basically, arranging the financing removes that anxiety. Mm -hmm. And the other thing too is that. If you are thinking of making an offer subject to the sale of your house, you get anxiety there anyways because at any moment somebody else can come by and snatch your home, right? right? And there's always the you know concern, the big concern, especially in a market like right now, is will your house sell? Mm, right. But something that we have to do as the real estate uh, experts is to speak in worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. So if it's a five hundred thousand dollar house, what would happen if you could only sell for four hundred and fifty? Right. That's another way for for us to look at it. But I think. The whole line of credit idea is is a good idea. It is. Yes, yeah. and it's relatively simple to put together. It depends on the person, of course, right? Very simple. It's so simple. There is a handful of lenders who offer it. Okay. Um, it's not a new product. It's been tried and true, and uh, lots of people have the product. Uh, not difficult to qualify for. It's typical lender qualification. Okay. And uh, being retired would have no detrimental effects on financing. Okay. So there's an option uh, to be able to proceed and buy your next house without having to sell yours. You can use the services of a mortgage broker like Sharon here, who can use uh, alternate products actually, uh, and have them ready and in place in case you need them. Yeah. But the idea, of course, is to have for us to have the house sold before the completion happens. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right.